No Time at All by Orphan Account. Dolly didn't, doesn't sleep much these days, but it's not for lack of trying. He doesn't care that he loses control over himself when he closes his eyes. He's not scared. Sometimes he falls asleep when he doesn't mean to. In class <laughs> or in town, he doesn't mind much because his body needs it. No say he won't survive another sleepless night otherwise. Sometimes he thinks he's dying. When he finally locks himself into his room, too bad only locks from the inside, he thinks. It's as if the past nine hours never happened. He can't even remember school. He talked to Gretchen in the hallway. Maybe. She touched his shoulder in a way that reminds him of how fragile she is. How transient they are. <laughs> Whatever. The room was nice, new, and shiny. Better than new. He throws his jeans on the floor when he changes. Just so he doesn't feel so damn clinical. It smells, it smells like his room again in a few days. Most of his drawings got wrecked or thrown out during the construction. But it's okay. Because they were shitty anyway. The important part is that he still has his pencils. His good pencil that he stole from the art room along with a neat eraser and a stapler. He doesn't need anything stapled, <laughs> but it looks nice on his desk. Donnie draws. He starts with Gretchen because there's this image stuck of her in his head. And he just wants her to go away right now. Okay, and maybe if he puts her on paper, he forget about her a while. He doesn't look anything like her, though. Eyes all wrong. He smudges them out. That's when he knows the eyes on the back of his neck. Not eyes, really. Something watching him. He, he resolutely <laughs> refuses to turn around until he finishes another sketch. It doesn't matter what the second one looks, nothing like her. Because Dolly isn't thinking about Gretchen anymore. She's the first thing from his mind right now. He holds up the sketch and is surprised to see that one of her eyes is completely missing this time. A dark swath of charcoal pencil in its place. Oops. Oops. This is the routine. He brushes his teeth, flushes one of his pills. He doesn't acknowledge that anything's amiss until he's safely in bed. He spreads out on top of his crisp sheets. No one's messing them up until he knows where he's passing out tonight. Finally, he takes a deep breath and looks at the figure in the corner of the room. He's never been less afraid. Frank. He breathes. Donnie. Frank replies, his voice buzzing like a trap bee inside Donnie's skull. Frank doesn't move. Sometimes he says more. But this time he remains silent as Donnie waits for the familiar sensation of his brain disconnecting from the rest of his body. It starts as a faint tingling in his fingertips and toes spreads up his legs, down his arms, and like warm water poured through his extremities. It fills an empty cavity in his chest. When he's so full of his, his body, he's coming with it. Donnie tries to twitch his fingers. He tries harder. He tries to sit up. Nothing happens. He can only move his head now, though Donnie is thinking that he doesn't need the use of his mouth to communicate, that maybe there's some sort of telepathic connection. He gets to use no. it anyway. He takes advantage of this. Frank! He grins. He's growing to enjoy losing control this way. No! It scared him at first. Fucking terrified him the first time he woke up completely paralyzed. He fought it until his face was red and he was hyperventilating. He fought some more. All without as much as a twitch from his unresponsive body. And then, without his consent, his hands folded across his chest. Frank left. He knows now that it's the Frank way of easing him in it. Which, if he's being honest, was quite considerate of him. This is Frank's way of showing Donnie how completely powerless he was. Donnie's gotten used to it. <laughs> now he can at least say he doesn't dread these encounters. Frank, in all of his mystery, in his stupid rabbit costume, is only looking out for Donnie's best interest. He doesn't know much about Frank, but Donnie's pretty sure he's omnipotent. Or at least close. Frank, on the other hand, knows what Donnie needs much more than Donnie does, and that's why he's not scared. <laughs> Sometimes Frank makes him sleepwalk, but most of the time he doesn't. Not tonight. Donnie remains motionless on top of the colors, watching Frank still figure with hooded eyes. You are troubled, Frank says. Donnie grins. He can never stop grinning around Frank. Mm, not, he says, as if Frank doesn't know better. You will lose everything you love. Donnie. Frank is always saying dumb things like that. All Donnie can do is snore his head into the back of his pillow, squinting until Frank is just a tiny gray blur between his eyelids. Not you! Donnie says, this is the point where Frank has driven home so often that it's instinctive for Donnie to repeat it. 
He's aroved with a pulse of warmth through his useless body. The cement inside his limbs starts to liquefy for a moment, allowing him to shudder in happiness. Oh, <laughs> so I can feel his thoughts slipping right. away from him. Oh well, Frank can have him. He isn't like thinking anyway. You gonna show me around tonight? <laughs> Donnie asks. Voice horse. <laughs> Some nights. Frank takes him to other places, dead worlds, and curbling universes to show him how good he has it, Donnie thinks. But Frank shakes his head no in two distinct jerky motions. He steps forward to the foot of the bed, looming over him, the pale edges of his mask illuminating in the waxing moonlight. This is when Frank usually lets him lose himself inside his own head, drifting in and out of dreams and ideas of Frank's creation. Why does he bother? Donnie wonders. He's a sit for tall rabbit, would have more things to do than watch him sleep. Like maybe hide under kids' beds or something. But he doesn't. Frank's always by him side, every night without fail since Donnie's brushed with death. Donnie decides to test his luck. Tell me again, he says, about the plan. Frank is quiet for a moment, and then that voice resonates like a church bell throughout Donnie's entire body. You play an important role in restoring balance to your universe. You are important. That's right. Donnie is important. And what do I have to do? He asks. <laughs> you need only to obey me. <laughs> he tries to twitch his feet. But it's if they don't exist anymore. It's like what he's heard about <clears throat> phantom limbs. <laughs> He can still feel them there, but nothing he can do to make them move. Oh, no. Everything is so warm, he realizes he's breathing heavily. <laughs> Obey! Obey! Donnie repeats under his breath. He likes the way the word feels in his mouth, heavy and reassuring. He doesn't make any decisions here. There's no room for him to fuck up. Frank hears this, even though it's in Donnie's head. He knows because the heat is back. Some kind of spiritual energy hitting him in waves. It feels like sinking to a hot tub on winter's day. Like sex. Better. Donnie tries absently to unbutton his jeans. Is frustrated that he can't. Is that what you want? Frank asks. Donnie lolls his head to the side and bites his lip, <gasps> smiling coyly. It's stupid. Oh. Frank probably can't even see through that dumb costume. Oh no. He mumbles. <laughs> you tell me what I want. He pleasantly, he's pleasantly surprised to find his hands moving up their own accord, <laughs> unzipping his thigh, no! and, <laughs> and pushing his jeans no! down to his thighs. Oh oh his no. whole body oh works God. in cooperation to take them off completely. <laughs> it's so fucking surreal, feeling himself not be able to move, but able to anticipate his next action, stripped down to his shirt and boxers. He involuntarily rests his hands on his thighs, where they remain awkwardly stiff. Yeah. Donnie breathes. Let me. Maybe this is weird. Maybe Donnie's imaginary friends should make him feel this way. Oh, but it feels what? weird. It okay. feels like the most natural They're thing in the wrong. world. Him and Frank, oh. Frank and Donnie. Nobody else stays. And if I refuse? He meets Frank's eyes, or at least looks towards where they should be. He doesn't hesitate. I can't. I won't. Frank nods. He doesn't know what Frank gets out of this. He might be trying to brainwash him. Donnie doesn't care. He's probably better off thinking that Frank puts it in his head anyway. Because Frank's omnipotent. And Donnie's just a dumb kid. But he knows what he gets out of it. Besides the fuzzy feeling of being important. And the total relief of not being responsible for his action. This. Oh my god. Oh this my is god. fucking amazing. <laughs> Cuffed into his boxes. Uh -huh. Not moving. Donnie belatedly realizes that this is Frank touching him. Uh, just by proxy. His face hurts from grinning. Frank! He whispers, Frank? 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 There's another word that feels good to say! Don eagles as he, as Frank, begins stroking him. It's different. <laughs> the two are stuck in his head. Obey. And Frank, he repeats him like a mantra, keeping him grounded, keeping his hand moving. <laughs> Oh, more. Donnie asks no. after a few moments. He asks no. about expectation because Frank is perfectly capable of leaving him like this. But he's happy to see himself remove his boxers. This wasn't weird the first oh my God. time. And it's not weird now. It's only a natural extension of his relationship with Frank. If anyone else is going to love him, well, Frank is just going to have to fill this role too. He doesn't need anybody else. He wants, though, wants a girl. Warm oh, and soft under his hands. Wants Gretchen. 
Donnie imagines kissing her gently. Imagine bending her backwards over Mrs. Farmer's desk, hitching her legs up over his shoulders. Oh my God. Imagine <laughs> fucking her. Stay here, says Frank. Donnie bites his lip. Oh, mm, sorry. <laughs> he stops thinking about fucking Gretchen. <laughs> Not thinking about her is really hard to do, except he can feel Frank in his head too, pushing those thoughts away and replacing them with nothing. No, it's not nothing. It's just peace. Donnie's peace of his purpose in life. He remembers what Frank said about oh being God. important and being worse. part oh of the plan. Oh he remembers God. how important it is to do everything Frank says. Donnie pulls himself out of his boxers. Well, Frank does that. Uh, Let's stun. Uh, he cranes his neck to get a better look. look. <laughs> He's half hard from thinking about Gretchen. He wants to move. Wants to kick and squirm around no, no, to get rid of himself. With all the happy energy building up inside of him. Because it's happening soon. And Donnie's gonna <laughs> save the world. He's the only one he can do it. He's important. Where? Frank pulls him out of his bosses. He cranes his neck to get a better look. He's half hard from thinking about the plan. Uh... Please. Tawny begs, <laughs> watching Frank from under his eyelids. Touch me. <laughs> his hand <laughs> remains motionless. Frank doesn't say a word. It's so frustrating when he doesn't know what Frank no. wants of him. When he has to guess, because Donnie doesn't know shit. He, <laughs> he has no clue what's going through Frank's head. He just knows what he needs. He needs something. Don tries to concentrate. He needs. Frank keeps him still. Don begs, watching Frank from under his eyelids. Tell me how long. Before the words are even out of his mouth, Frank's voice makes itself known. Eleven days. Frank says. Seven hours. Fourteen minutes. Twenty-three seconds. That's how long. That's when Don's gonna save the world. And warmth flows through him, laying his nerves on fire. Oh, fuck. Donnie breathes. Again. Frank doesn't speak. Not of his mouth or anything. Donnie realizes. But Robert projects himself directly into Donnie's brain. <gasps> 11 oh days. God. Frank says. 7 hours. 13 minutes. 49 seconds. It's your boy! With <laughs> gentle <laughs> pressure! <laughs> Just under the head of his cock. He's so rubbing, so circles there. He's hard and dripping over his fist. Eleven days! He's gonna serve his purpose! He must be watching. His face feels ridiculously hot from him doing this in front of Frank. Frank watching him touch himself. More than that, Frank making it happen. Being dying, these sensations make him feel so good, so intimate, so weirdly intimate. Maybe he shouldn't be sharing his brain space after all, because really, this all seems sort of... Pain shoots up down his spine. Its origin discernible, but dissipates. He's not actually hurt. This in his, except it's fucking agonizing. But it's not. It's not fucking real. It's the worst pain Donnie's ever felt. It's even worse. It's the sudden knowledge that it's not confined by physical limitations. It could be infinitely worse, doubling, tripling, before pain becomes Donnie's world. Until it's all he feels. In all he's felt, in all he's ever known. No! <laughs> Donnie chokes. He can't breathe. Frank! Where's Frank? Donnie can't find Frank. Frank has left him in this place. This place is only this unbearable pain. Frank, please. Fuck, please. Frank, please come back. Now, all at once, his pain is gone. He's somewhere warm and safe. Where? He cracks open the lids of his eyes. Of course, he's in his room, and there's Frank staying at the foot of his bed. Frank! Donnie sniffs. Has he been crying? His voice is so wrecked, and everything's coming out as a jabbled mess. Uh, Frank, I thought you were gone. I was scared of Frank. Why did it hurt? <laughs> a wave of calm washes over him. I am with you, Frank says. I will always be with you. Donnie lets out a sigh of relief. He suddenly understands that the pain is caused by disobeying Frank. <laughs> it pulls him apart. The space where Frank lives in Donnie's mind. When Frank is gone, there's nothing to fill it. So all the pain of the universe <laughs> oh floods <my> <laughs> in. But Frank is here. Frank will always be here. As long as Donnie obeys him. And follows through with his plan. Frank will keep him safe from the pain. 
pleasure rushes through Donnie's body again. Oh my God. Stronger than he's ever felt it. And this time it has a name. He realizes this wasn't Frank's doing. It <gasps> was Frank. <laughs> Laughter bubbles from Donnie's <laughs> sore throat. He smiles through the tears. They're so close. Frank is no! inside of him. No! <laughs> he still wants more. Tell me. Donnie said the answer reverberates in the empty cavern of his skull. 11 days, no, 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 no. Oh, 7 no, hours, no, 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 10 no, minutes, no, no, no. 29 seconds. No. His hand strokes his cock <laughs> slowly. It's not enough. Tell me, Frank. He searches around his head and finds Frank, but the pleasure is too vague for him to pinpoint. He just wants to touch it. 11 days, 7 hours, no, 10 no, minutes, no, no, 21 no, seconds. No. Frank's no. hand stroke his cock slowly. <laughs> it's not enough. Frank. You are important. Says Frank. You are the only one who can execute the plan. His hands speed up no. and Don no, no, no. wants to buck into it. But his hips remain still, like someone's holding him down. Someone is inside of his head. If you can just focus hard enough, he knows he can find him. He's in there somewhere. Donnie squeezes his eyes shut in concentration. He needs to find Frank. Needs to touch him. Frank. Uh, he moans. You will lose everything you love, Donnie. In the end, only I will remain. Frank's hands speed up. Donnie desperately wants to buck his hips and remain still because Frank's holding him down. No! So close. If only he can only find and die's entire world. Cut. <laughs> contracts into one point it's hard to explain it's like this tiny little thing that's always been a part of him suddenly expanded to become all of him it fills him up all the uncertainty the self-doubt is replaced with one little thing with frank open your eyes says frank donnie does no! and there he is frank on top of him make these brace face no! He recited Donnie's no, no, hips, no. staring him down with one piercing eye in oh, one empty socket. No. His dark hair hangs partially from his face, no. swaying with every motion. No, He's no. not completely there. <laughs> He's partially translucent. He can't be there completely because Frank is still standing at the foot of Donnie's bed, wearing his big, stupid rabbit costume. But he's real enough that Donnie can feel the rough skin of his hand pumping him with his single-minded determination. Something oh. weird happens. No, 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 no. Donnie's body starts flickering no. too. Oh my god. One second he's rigid on the bed. The next his feet are locked behind Frank's shoulders. Donnie giggles. It's the same position as fantasy. Except now Frank is Donnie. No, no, and Donnie no, no, is no, whoever. No, no, Donnie's no, the one getting no. fucked. And he's pretty sure... This is supposed to hurt, because that's what girls say, but it doesn't. Maybe it's because Frank isn't really down there. He's really there, really inside Donnie, but he's not in one single okay? place. He's everywhere. He's in Donnie's chest and his arms, and his toes and his head, behind his eyelids and in the back of his throat. He never felt anything like this. I was very sure most people never felt anything like this. He's so close to Frank. It's like his body was never any bar at all. Full up. Full of Frank. Donnie giggles. No, no, Frank no. silences him with a kiss unlike no, any no, of her Donnie's previous God. kisses. <laughs> so he's operating on two different planes. He can feel it. Feel oh Frank's goodness, warm please. mouth please on his please. and Frank's hair tickling his neck. But it's also not happening because it's only the idea of a kiss. But it's nice either way. How long has it been since he opened his eyes? Not even a second. Oh, Frank whispers into his mouth. No time at all. When Donnie speaks, his lips move oh. right through Frank oh. like they weren't even there. I, I don't want it to end. He says, Yes, you do. Says Frank. His <laughs> voice has lost <laughs> his equally <laughs> positive quality. Instead, it's muffled. Maybe because there's no room left for Donnie for it to reverberate and he's not wanting to end. Donnie. He realizes because it gets so much better. Frank flickers no, away no, from his mouth. No, Donnie misses no. the morph of his body, but then he feels no. a pulse. <laughs> no, he pulls up to his no, toes. No. Donnie whispers. I'm here. Donnie realizes that his Frank is fucking him. <laughs> oh my god! Slaps <laughs> Donnie with the finger. Well, Donnie giggles. 
Uh, Frank looks up from what he's <laughs> doing and cracks his eyebrow, which is really weird because Donnie has never seen him use facial expressions before. You're a bunny. Donnie laughs. And a bunny fuck, like, you know. Frank shuts him off with another freaky shift in position. <laughs> Splinters into existence with an arm braced on Donnie's chest. His face is so close that Donnie can feel his breath. It's cold. But he doesn't find that strange. Eleven days. He Are says, Donnie lets out a surprise little, oh, at the pleasure that courses through wow, him. I'm Frank fuck. slams into no, 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 his face. No, 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 So he can't say anything, but Frank, two Franks, one at the foot of his bed, watching, and one fucking him. Jesus Christ, Frank's fucking him. Ten minutes. His cock rubs against Frank's stomach every thrust, and nothing has ever felt as good as this. No. 27 minutes. Donnie realizes he's talking, repeating things Frank has told him and begging. Oh, well. Uh, please. I need you to tell me how long, Frank, how long. Three long. seconds. Donnie comes. <laughs> at, uh, at least he thinks probably something like that. Oh my god. His eyes are open. He watches as Frank sinks into him. Literally, his body seems to fade and merge into Donnie's. And oh. with that, it becomes unbearable. Oh. Perfect <laughs> heat. He doesn't know what he's feeling. Pleasure so overwhelming, he doesn't have a name for it. Because it's not something a normal person is ever supposed to feel. He's not a normal person. He's Frank's person. And Frank is the one pushing what? through him. <laughs> separating what? with it so he doesn't blow any circuits what? along the way. Donnie can't figure out what he's supposed to do. So he just laughs and takes it. He laughs until his chest and his eyes are watering. <laughs> he can move. You have fallen off the bed the by now. Thing. Frank is watching Donnie from the foot of the bed. He's everywhere. He doesn't know how long it lasts. Less than a second? No time at all, Frank says. He doesn't need to know anything. He just needs to keep his mind empty for anything Frank wants to put in there. Frank is watching Donnie from the foot of the bed. He's everywhere. He doesn't know how long it lasts. Less than a second? No time at all, Frank says. Donnie wakes up under the covers. Wearing his pajamas, warm. His alarm goes off in three minutes, so he turns off before it could happen. Weird. Donnie yawns, slides out of bed. Three minutes means he's barely enough time to really look at himself in the mirror this morning. So he does. He has dark what? circles under his eyes, but that's nothing new. Actually, it looks kind of better today. Better than he looked like in a while. Maybe it's all in his head. He heats up a Pop-Tart and drags Samantha to the bus stop. She asks him to carry her backpack. Today, Donnie doesn't mind. Woo! <laughs> this is dedicated to Andy and Eric. We love you. I'm so sorry. We I'm love so you. Sorry. Alex, we love them, right? We love them. We they love you. Even, they don't even know. Oh, God. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Good night. Oh,